Yeah. 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 another video i know it's been a while since i dropped a video i've been having editor problems and fucking started working started flying if you guys didn't know i just recently started flight lessons and sorry i'm driving on my way to the plane right now and i recently started uh, flight lessons uh, for for me a big thing for me i always wanted to become a pilot always wanted to become a pilot like since i was a kid Back then when I tried, I, first, I flew my first plane to my first discovery flight when I was 16, 16. Uh, started school, I actually graduated high school early, so I, that's what I wanted to do was become a pilot. I, when I started flight school, it was it got too expensive, like, way too expensive. Like, sheesh, I couldn't afford that at all, not at all. So I think both commercial pilots or ATP pilots, like, um, like Frontier, United Airlines, shit like that, that you need some some of them or you may or you may not need a bachelor's degree so what i was thinking of at the time was like well since i can't afford college i'll just do a backup plan and you know go for computer engineering or something like that while i'm pursuing my uh, somehow pursuing my pilot's license i can start college and get that degree out of the way so ended up starting college yada 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 and it didn't really work out for me. I was like, dude, I don't, I don't know if college is for me. Like, I really don't know if college is for me. So I took, I just took, I did a year of college and just left. I'm not gonna lie, I just dropped out of college. For the meantime, it was just like, what do I do? Like, so for then I just started working, working, working. And I met with this really cool guy at my, at my first job, or my second job actually, McDonald's. And shout out to Jeff a homie and he got me into like the car scene the car scene and in florida tampa florida the car scene is huge huge in tampa florida and yeah ever since then i was just like got into the car scene and you know how when you get into the car scene start racing and start doing all the stuff building cars that shit breaks down your car eventually is going to break down from there i had a, i was forced to learn how to do maintenance on my car and learn how to build cars learn how to race cars learn how to you know parts swap motors everything and like it became a hobby like it became an addictive hobby an expensive hobby and i just didn't know what to do so i was like you know this is fun i love building cars i love racing cars and i still love aviation i don't i take this like this experience of turning wrenches and stuff and put it towards airplanes it's cheaper to become an uh, aircraft mechanic and i and the same school that i went to so the pilot program had the, the aircraft maintenance program for it too and from there i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna become a maintenance my, my mindset was get into aviation maintenance get that certified a &P, uh certified amp license that's why that that's a license you need to legally work on aircraft and sign off well you can legally you can still legally work on aircraft but someone to sign off your work or the paperwork or anything like that you need an amp to sign that off or at least uh, under under a repair station or anything like that. But working on airplanes, you're most likely going to need a &P. So I was like, you know, my mindset was to get out that a &P, work in aviation maintenance. Hey, if I make a career out of it, I make a career out of it. But really, my mindset was to, you know, network, meet new people, meet pilots that were willing to train me for a lesser cost and exchange of maintenance on their planes, you know, and do maintenance on their planes. So yada 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 i end up doing that becoming an aircraft mechanic and meeting a lot of cool people and you know networking and eventually i found instructor and thank god they were willing to work with me with maintenance and help me out if i helped them out and so far they've been amazing to talk to i've already talked to the guy and i met his business partner I already took a uh, discovery flight and I already took my initial flight. Sorry, I didn't record it, but we're recording now. Uh, I, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Today, we're going to have more videos for it, though, and, you know, it's going to be a fun ride today. 
I don't know what we're doing or what we're, what we're learning today. Uh, I got my handy dandy pilot headset, my pilot logbook, my handy dandy iPad for navigation and learning the forecast of the area to fly in. And I guess this is gonna be obtaining my pilot's license part one because that's what we're doing here. It's obtaining my pilot's license. So without further ado, if you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe, share the video. Uh, you know, if any got any friends that want to learn how to fly or you know, they wants the inspiration or the motivation, man, share this video to them. Tell them they can do it. I've done it. And believe me when I tell you, it wasn't easy. And if you really want something in life, if you really want to chase your dreams, do it. Don't be scared. Don't be scared because the outcome will only be good. Don't be afraid of failure. But without further ado, I'll meet you guys back at the airplane and we're gonna uh, learn everything from there, meet the instructor. And I'll see you back in a few. Whoop. Well guys, we made it. Look at all these beautiful aircraft. We're in a secret airport, well not secret, but a little private airport, another two crazy, another the international. Just waiting for my instructor. He's gonna just drop, he's gonna be landing anytime soon. I'll definitely try to get a video of that, but uh I'm gonna show you around with all the beautiful aircraft. She's here, guys. Normally, we'd do a pre flight and everything, but he just landed, so not necessary. He did a pre flight, but a good pilot would do one. But welcome to YouTube, man. What's up, buddy? <laughs> guys, this is my flight instructor. Say hi. How's it going? Dan here. Beautiful commander today. It was a quick walk around and then we're gonna be finished the rest of the recording up in the air. Boop. Catch it back in the plane. Guys, left the plane on the 
stop in Clearwater Airport. We're going to uh, use the restroom, get some snacks. We were ready to peel up and gas, so that's pretty much it for now. But definitely, we get back to you when we're back in aircraft. I did record the takeoff over in the, uh, the other airport, but the phone overheated and lost the footage. So I would try to get another takeoff video for you guys and cruise through Clearwater to Beach and the Tampa area. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Say goodbye. See ya. Thank you for the flight training. Oh yeah, buddy. With more again when we're seeing each other again. All right, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by. Sorry about the lost footage. We had some uh, issues with the phone overheating and during landing and take off a couple videos. So I got as much footage as we can, but next time it'll be better, I promise, I promise. So if you haven't yet, make sure you like, subscribe, share the video to anybody that will need some motivation, some inspiration to get some, chase their dreams and you know follow their goals and stuff. So until next time.